in these stories involving Nazis and Kunaclasters, there is a certain suggested connection between Kunaclaster and anti-Semitism and Nazis all through until the story in oh at the end of the book where it turns out um, that Kunaclaster uh, people the the Jews are the only people who have been fighting the Krell for all eternity and the Christian church is on the side of the Krell uh, so this is resolved but only at the end of the book um, does that make any sense? I tell the people I really love about the Kuna Troop, the Kuna Cluster, like that book I wrote to the Japanese girls over there, she sent it to me to save for her when she came over. She didn't want to take any chances losing it. Um, I could even read part of it to you if you want, but um, the concept of the Kuna Cluster and actually going so far as to say that that it's not just an imaginary thing. It may have some, you know, there may be some reality in it. That is, there may be a real Kuna Cluster. I don't know. Um, but I hesitate to go beyond that and talk about his ontology or his theology. You know, I'm tempted to say the Kuna Cluster is the god behind all the other gods. But that doesn't work. I'd say... He's the god hidden amongst the other gods, but he's quite different because he um, he's the god of children and of creativity and so forth that we've been talking about.